everyone, um, it's Sharon Shattuck um, bringing you the next update on e-claims. Um, I'm reliably informed we're on about number five now in terms of spotlight. So um, that just shows you um, the length of time we've been uh, working on this project uh, uh, together. Um, so over the past few months, lots of good work being undertaken on a number of fronts. Many of you would have been involved in some of that. So it ranges from inputting all of the information on to e-claims so I think we're almost there I think of all of the projects that have been contracted we've got 85% of those now on to e-claim so that's a huge achievement so big thank you and I know everybody's been working really hard everybody's working really hard on getting their claims input on to e-claims as well so I know that's a big block of work so again I know that you've all been uh, working together with our claim experts and super users to hopefully make that as painless as possible so again big thank you for that work um, leading up to Christmas, um, everybody will know that we achieved designation, which was a huge, uh, huge achievement for the business. It meant that we could effectively carry on running running our programmes, which was great news. Um, we couldn't down tools, though, as you know. We've had to start preparing and planning for um, the next um, stage of development, which is hopefully will take us up to roll out of the system for our external partners. We're working on that now with um, our developer Mark Logic. So lots of planning underway um, around that. Um, I'm hoping we'll, we'll be very soon in a position to start running live Jasper Soft reports from our system. We are nearly there, I am assured. Uh, Chris White and Claire Shakespeare are uh, people flee, not manfully, I won't say manfully, working through some of the um, reports and testing them as we speak from both uh, data from the staging environment and from the live environment at the moment. So um, that's all good. So I'm hoping that we can do some data integrity work based on uh, our findings going forward. So again, we should be in a position to hopefully run lots of our own um, uh, live reports using the live data very shortly. So again, that's really good progress. I'm also hoping that we uh, can start testing our e-claim CPM SAP um, process next week, uh, just to make sure from our perspective that everything fits together and that the payments go where they need to go. So um, I will let everybody know how that goes, but I'm very hopeful that that will take place next week. So good progress on a number of fronts for us. Um, a number of you will have been involved in a couple of workshops that we held last week. Um, Really, really good uh, input from everybody. We had a super users workshop where it's more practical in the morning just to show everybody what the system looks like now in terms of developments that have been released into the system and what they could do. Um, we had um, uh, a discussion in the afternoon around um, the role of super users going forward and uh, whether people felt comfortable with the super user role. Um, we had some excellent suggestions and uh, how that can be embedded into uh, objectives going forward uh, for the next reporting year. Uh, also had a session with heads and MI leads who have kindly agreed to be advocates for e-claims uh, on the day after. Um, again, had a really good discussion about how we can continue to embed e-claims into our structures uh, and our business process. Um, so again, part of that's around objective, se objective setting, but it's also about making sure everybody's comfortable and got the tools that they need to become familiar and expert e-claims. So you'll probably know um, that there, are, there will be a number of videos available for colleagues to access, whether it's how to put on a claim, how to put on an outline application, how to put on a full application. So um, those are coming shortly, so uh, watch your space and that hopefully will be helpful. You know that you've got your super users uh, who you can go to for advice as your first port of call and your claims experts, as well as your MI lead advocates now as well. And you know there's a TSO, TSO helpline available um, for the practical uh, issues that are uh, that sometimes occur within the system that stop you doing the things you need to do. And we also have a range of work instructions as well. So hopefully, um, it's a, it's a moving a moving target really. Uh, but we, if there's any, you know, we'll aim to update the work instructions. And if we need to produce more videos, happy to do that. Um, but if anybody's got any really good ideas about what else they might like to see or ask us to do in terms of supporting them around the e-claims agenda, then uh, more than happy uh, to take those on board. So looking ahead, I touched a bit earlier on our next set of priorities. Um, these are the priorities that will take us up to the rollout of the system. 
Uh, so there are a few things I know that colleagues are particularly interested in. Um, so uh, being able to search on all of our dashboards uh, is, is a biggie. Um, we are releasing some functionality uh, hopefully next week which will allow you to do some searching so that should help um, a little bit. Um, there's also uh, around find, being able to find all your documents related to uh, a project as well so you'll be able to sort of um, search for those. Um, things like editing active calls, you can't do those things at the moment, uh, which I know is a little bit annoying for everybody. So going forward, you'll be able to do all of those kinds of things. Um, better information in financial tables. So I know, especially when you're looking at claims and being able to aggregate them and looking at some clear information that will be really useful for you as well. Uh, so much. Um, um, being able to have multiple people using an application at the same time, um, sorry, not concurrently, but at the same time. Um, I think that would be quite useful if, if, if a couple of people want to look at an application, uh, whether it's somebody that's done the assessment and somebody wanting to approve, or just having a look just to see what an application says. Um, I think that would be, uh, be really beneficial as well for you. Completing flat rate flat rate procurement irregularities. Um, this is something particularly that the certifying authority colleagues are particularly interested in. So it's something that um, we, we have to uh, have built into the system. It's really important for us as well as a business that we have as um, less uh, irregularities as possible uh, so that we don't need to identify them and put them on the system in the first place. But uh, that functionality will be there. Exporting and importing data so that you can um, uh, do some sampling when you're visiting, uh, this will help uh, rather than you going through line by line, you can just sort of download, download your sample uh, and work from that. So lots of different things going on, um, those are just a few things that I've picked out but hopefully you get a feel for uh, the fact that we, are, we will be working on a range of development now over the next few months before rollout uh, and you will start seeing some of that development working into e-claims sort of over the next few weeks really, certainly next week is the next release and um, I'll let you know when the uh, following releases are due. So it's an iterative process but you get a feel for the kind of work that we're going to be doing going forward. We need to be in the best place possible um, to prepare for our work with our external applicants. Um, so as ever, if anybody's got any questions, queries, thoughts, um, please drop me a line or give me a call. Thanks very much. Thanks. <laughs>